What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny video and today we have possibly the biggest news to ever come out the entirety of Destiny as a franchise. Activision and Bungie split ways. Say what? But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. If you are new around here and enjoy what you see, make sure you subscribe. So here's me sitting there eating my chicken. My phone alerts me of a tweet by Bungie. It reads, today we're announcing plans for Bungie to assume full publishing rights for the Destiny franchise. I am like, what? Is this a troll? What is going on? Let's read through the entire post from Bungie. When we first launched our partnership with Activision in 2010, the game industry was in a pretty different place. As an independent studio setting out to build a brand new experience, we wanted a partner willing to take a big leap of faith with us. We had a vision for Destiny that we believed in, but to launch a game of that magnitude, we needed the support of an established publishing partner. With Activision, we created something special. To date, Destiny has delivered a combination of over 50 million games and expansions to players all around the world. More importantly, we've also witnessed a remarkable community. Tens of millions of Guardians Strong rise up and embrace Destiny to play together, to make and share memories, and even to do truly great things that reach far beyond the game we share to deliver a positive impact on people's everyday lives. We have enjoyed a successful eight year run and would like to thank Activision for their partnership on Destiny. Looking ahead, we're excited to announce plans for Activision to transfer publishing rights for Destiny to Bungie. With our remarkable Destiny community, we are ready to publish on our own, while Activision will increase their focus on owned IP projects. The planned transition process is already underway in its early stages, with Bungie and Activision both committed to making sure the handoff is as seamless as possible. With Forsaken, we learned and listened and leaned into what we believe our players want from a great Destiny experience. Rest assured, there is more of that on the way. We'll continue to deliver on the existing Destiny roadmap and we're looking forward to releasing more seasonal experiences in the coming months as well as surprising our community with some exciting announcements about what lies beyond. Thank you so much for your continued support. Our success is owed in no small part to the incredible community of players who have graced our worlds with light and life. We know self-publishing won't be easy. There's still much more for us to learn as we grow as an independent global studio, but we see unbound opportunities and potential in Destiny. We know that new adventures await us and new worlds fulfilled with mystery, adventure and hope. We hope you'll join us there. See you star side. Now to be honest, this is something I just didn't think would ever happen. Bungie splitting with Activision, I am, I'm gobsmacked, I really am. Now personally, this I feel could be the best thing ever for the game, but indeed it could mean the worst. Activision, whether you like it or not, were a massive part of the game. We all fell in love with back in the day with Destiny 1. And now they have left the scene and Bungie take full publishing rights. This could be the start of something spectacular, or it could indeed be the downfall for the franchise. Now we don't know why this split happened, but no doubt money was involved. The last quarter I believe was the lowest profits margin they've seen, or near there, and maybe Activision didn't feel their investment was worth it, or people, it could mean that Bungie have seen the light of day and have realised Activision may be holding them back. I mean it's all speculation at the moment, I don't think we will get an official statement of why they split, but people will speculate that is for sure. What I can tell you guys is Bungie within the future won't have to meet requirements set by Activision, meaning they most probably won't limit content either. One thing I'm sure on though guys is with the split happening, I'm pretty sure Activision will still earn money from Destiny 2 as Activision published Destiny 2. So although the split might be a great thing to hear, I actually don't see changes solely benefiting Bungie until the release of Destiny 3 if that even happens. One would assume Activision would have published that also if development of the game had already started. Maybe this was set to happen and contracts were going to be up prior to D3? That we don't know yet. All I can say is this news has truly left me excited to see how Bungie do indeed pull off Destiny 3. Like I said, if it does happen. Maybe indeed will be more like a Halo game than a COD game, mechanics wise. 
That's the Bungie we all love, that is for sure. But people, I will say, don't think the mistakes we have seen with Destiny were all Activision's fault, game-wise. I'd say even more so the fuck-ups we experienced with Destiny were probably more so Bungie's fault. From the early days with Halo 2, I'm pretty sure Microsoft had to step in and tell them to sort their shit out. But in relation to my last two statements guys, it isn't even the same Bungie team now that were behind Halo. Yeah, some people may still be there, but a lot has changed. Martin O'Donnell and Joel Staten, just to mention a few names. Marty was the man behind the music of Halo and Destiny, and Joel Staten I believe was the lead writer and also wrote the original Destiny story. He also writes great Halo books, as some of you will know. So loads has changed guys, and like I said, this split could indeed be the best thing for us as Guardians but indeed could also be the worst too. But people, it's going to be a crazy ride from now into the future and into hopefully Destiny 3 if that happens. Let me know your opinions guys on this split. I am curious to know what you think. And guys, I will end with another crazy statement I read today coming from Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox. In reply to Bungie announcing the split, he states, Looking forward to a very bright future working with one of my favourite independent studios and one of my favourite franchises. Excited to see how they continue to grow and evolve Destiny. Now isn't that just interesting people? Let's not forget the history between Bungie and Microsoft. This partnership in my opinion brought us one of the biggest games in history, opening the door to many other games to come. That game was indeed people, Halo. I wonder what Phil Spencer actually meant by this tweet. Will we see a reunion? Me personally, and I am an Xbox player people as many of you will know and always have been, I hate exclusivity. It helps nobody but the greedy pockets of publishers. And best we leave that shit out, but hey, that is just my opinion. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Let me know your opinion on all of this. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help out. If you guys are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again, guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.